What's up guys, it's Over here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's episode, I'm going to go and show you guys how to go and increase your FPS on Minecraft Java Edition and I'm actually on the latest version as you guys can see, Minecraft 1.21.7. Anyway, let's go ahead and press options. Now what we want to go ahead and do is actually go ahead and press video settings and the main thing that you guys actually want to go ahead and do to go ahead and get more FPS guys is actually go ahead and turn down your render distance. So whatever it's at, basically the lower you put it guys, it is going to go ahead and give you more FPS. FPS. However, you won't be able to see as far, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, what I would actually recommend, guys, is actually setting it to 8 or maybe 12, depending on your PC, if you're on, like, a low-end PC. If you can handle it, obviously, you can now go with a little bit more. Um, usually, most people go with about, like, 16, but, yeah, if you have, like, a low-end PC, you might want to turn that down to maybe, like, a little bit lower. It's, it's kind of up to you. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, put that down to 2 right now, though, just so we get the most FPS. Yes. Next, what you guys want to go and do is actually go over to particles. We have that on all. So particles like potions and stuff, those actually do do a lot. So what we want to go ahead and do is actually go and turn that on to, uh, I think, a minimal. I think that's actually the lowest one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. What else can we go ahead and do over here? I think we could also go ahead and do um, smooth lighting. Should we go ahead and do that? I think, oh, graphics over here. Yeah, this is what we want to go and do. So if you actually go and set this one over here too fast, as you can see, um, basically we'll go ahead and reduce the amount of visible rain and snow. And so yeah, basically that'll also go ahead and make it faster. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, there's like a couple of things over here that you could like maybe mess around with, like maybe view bobbing. I'm not really too sure, like maybe entity shadows if you want i guess we can go and turn that off but i pretty much showed you guys like the main ones over there and oh yeah make sure you also do go and have the max frame rate if yours is like set to like 60 or something always set that to unlimited i mean why would you want to limit your fps i would just always recommend setting that to unlimited and yeah that's basically it so we're gonna go ahead and actually drop into a world show you guys basically what it goes ahead and looks like now and boom as you can see so our render distance it's not too far but the game is actually still playable and and yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and increase our FPS if I check out mine right now. We're actually, we're getting a ton. We're getting over a thousand FPS right now, as you guys can see, which is pretty insane. And yeah, anyway, though, that is going to go ahead and basically officially wrap up today's episode. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace out, bros. Oh, yeah. Also, another thing I almost forgot to go ahead and mention, you guys can go ahead and turn the clouds off over here, too. So that is also going to go ahead and save you FPS. Um, you can put on fast as well, too. That also save you. FPS from fancy fancy I think is gonna go and actually take up the most but yeah if you want to just like completely turn it off guys it's honestly not even like that big of a difference like this is still pretty awesome and personally sometimes I actually like do love the play without clouds on anyway as you can see I changed my radar distance back to what I usually use it at so it's pretty far now but anyway yeah I just started going throw that little clouds bit in there guys almost forgot to go mention that and yeah and yeah another side thing you can do as well is the entity distance as well if you like go ahead and turn that down to as low as it goes and the cloud distance here too if you decide to go with clouds but yeah that's just like kind of like some minor things you know also this might go ahead and help as well too if you guys turn down your glint speed and your glint strength as well too which is actually for like enchanted items and also if you guys do want to go ahead and turn off your v-sync as well too and smooth lighting that should also go and help as well and also, I think if you change Chunk Builder to Threaded as well too, that may help slightly as well. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. It does seem like that could help as well. As well as the simulation distance, and yeah, I mean, there's really a ton of stuff you guys can go ahead and, you know, edit in over here. But the main stuff is the render distance. 